how to create symmetrical shapes in After Effects, let's go. First things first, we're gonna get our pen tool and let's start making something. So we'll just pick a stroke or whatever you like. It doesn't have to be a stroke, but we'll just make a nice bright color that we can all see. Let's go right in here and we wanna find the center of our comp. And so I'm gonna turn on these title saves here and basically look for the center. And I'm just going to make sure that I have the rulers on. So I'm gonna press Command R, Control R bring a ruler in here so I know always know where dead center is. I'm gonna create a vase because you know, that's nice and symmetrical, but this could be anything. So let's start in the middle here. I'm just gonna move it right to the center here like this. Uh, by holding shift, I'm gonna snap it there. And we're just going to just trace out the shape of a vase. It's really loud at the moment because I've got the windows open, but it's so hot today, guys. I just need, <laughs> I just needed the windows open because it's just so crazy hot today. So apologize if you can hear the traffic where I live because uh, it is very hot. All right. Here we go, and but it's spring, which I really love. Anyway, so this is sort of like the vase that we're creating. As you can see, we've created half a vase, which is great. What we're gonna do is go down to the shape tool and go to contents, and then we're gonna go to add, and then go to repeater. And then we are going to go to, down to repeater and then go transform. And we're going to change the position to zero. And we're going to change this to minus 100 and change this to two. And there you go, we've got our shape and it is mirrored. And what's great is once you set this up, uh, you can just modify the shape on the left side and it'll pretty much become whatever it is to be on the right side. And you can obviously apply this to many things. And this obviously works with the fill as well. So if we were to fill this in, um, that is completely fine. I mean, you can use whatever fill you want. We can use the gradient fill. And seriously, when I found out about this technique, it was such a time saver. And speaking of things that save you time, check out our Lyric Video Creator Kit. It's just a whole bunch of presets that we've created to basically help you get started with your motion graphics. If you're not really a motion graphics person, but I know that you're here watching this because you want to learn motion graphics. But if you don't got that time, we've done all the work for you so you can speed up your workflow and get out of work early and do whatever it is you like to do. You know, you do you. And you'll never guess what feature only took 30 years to finally make it into the latest version of After Effects. I can't believe it took this long. Click on the video to find out.